What is going on guys, Noah Brewer here back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about three different ways that you can get around the iOS 14 tracking and display issues inside of Facebook ads and some of these things are also applicable to other platforms. Now it is the 4th of July when I'm filming this, you know we got our freedom shirt on but let's get right into the video so that we can have a look at how me and my team have been you know analyzing these accounts even with the tracking issues and display issues that we're seeing um, especially with Facebook ads but also with other platforms as well. Well, so there's three kind of like main workarounds that you can do. One of them is manual tracking. The other one is the trust method. And then the last one is kind of like a last resort thing. Like I don't really recommend it, but I'm going to say it anyways, just to make you guys aware that you could do it if these other two options do not fit in your schedule. So the number one workaround that I've seen work the best so far is manual tracking. So this is essentially creating your own pixel. Um, you can do this with, you know, an app called Hyros. You can do this with um, UTM tracking, which is just essentially a bunch of code. Um, so usually these are very high level, right? Like if you're pushing a lot of revenue, if you manage a lot of stores and you're already making a lot of money, it would be worth going investing a lot of time and money into creating these systems just so that you know exactly what's tracking when and where. So I don't have that much experience with Hyros, but I have heard from some friends that it works very, very well. I do know that it's pretty pricey. Um, I don't know how hard it is to use or anything like that, but I know for a fact that it's effective just based on what I've heard from other friends and people in e-commerce that are also using it. Um, the next one is UTM tracking. Um, this essentially uses like URL codes to um, attribute sales and it usually uses like a third party dashboard and you know, for every single ad set you have or every Every ad you're going to need a different uh, UTM tracking code. Super big pain in the ass to get set up, but once you get your systems down, I've heard it's not too bad. It could take a while to set up, and if you hire somebody to set it up for you, it could be a little bit expensive. But these two options are probably going to be the most accurate and the best ways to you know, make sure that you're tracking all of your sales and all of your sales are getting attributed to the correct ads on Facebook or Google or TikTok or anywhere you're running advertisements from. I would again recommend manual tracking for anybody making you know, $100,000 a month or more in profit um, and you're looking just to avoid all the tracking issues and nonsense and bullshit and you just want to, you know, it'll be a little expensive and a pain in the ass up front, but moving forward, it'll allow you to scale a lot higher than 100 k a month uh, because you're going to know exactly where your sales came from and it doesn't matter what Facebook does with the pixel, it doesn't matter what Apple's doing, either way you're going to have good tracking. So the next option that we have here which is the one that I would personally recommend to like 99% of dropshippers or anybody running advertising at all is kind of using the trust method. So you know to kind of explain a little bit um, what we're seeing mostly is a difference between 20 and 50% in tracking overall on your store. So, you know, in that example, if there was a 20% difference in tracking, if you had $100,000 in real revenue, um, about $80,000 of that would actually track inside of Facebook. So this is kind of normal, like this isn't really that bad. You can scale just fine at a 20% difference. But for the sake of explaining this example, we're going to say that it's 30% of your revenue is not being tracked by Facebook. So, you know, in this scenario, you would have $100,000 in real revenue and only $70,000 tracked on Facebook. Now, this is not going to kill you, but it's a little bit annoying and it could lead you to like turning off some profitable ad sets, not knowing that they're actually profitable just because of the 30% the difference. So essentially what the trust method is, is since your overall account is mistracking about 30% of your revenue, all that you're doing is assuming that each ad set has 30% more revenue on it than it currently does. Now, this is obviously not foolproof, like it's not, you know, you're, you're going to be wrong with some of your predictions, but what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep a little bit of an open mind and, you know, just be aware of the issue to where if your ad set is doing 30% less as good, maybe you can think of it doing 30% better than it currently shows on your dashboard just because you know that the overall revenue of your store is mistracking by 30%. So the reason I recommend doing this is because the math is super easy. Like when you're looking over your ads, you can just do the math in your head and every single month you can just update that overall tracking issues. So this could work um, really, really good up to the point where you have like 50 to 60% tracking issues. If you have 50 to 60% tracking issues, I would seriously look into the manual tracking option. Um, but if you're only seeing like a 30% difference, you should still be able to scale just fine. Um, and if you use, you know, this method of using percentages, you'll know kind of like where what your good ad sets are what your bad ad sets are you'll be able to still you know decipher what's good and what's bad inside of your ad account without many issues 
So this last one is the one that I was talking about where I don't necessarily recommend that everybody does this. Um, this is more of like a unique situation, like the other two options definitely won't work. And the workaround number three is essentially using other metrics to determine, you know, what a good ad set is. And, and I'm talking about clicks, add to carts, checkout, CPC, etc. This is honestly more for display issues, not really tracking issues. So we've ran into accounts that track the purchases just fine. It's just not displaying on the uh, dashboard or the ads manager. Um, in a way where we can see like which ad set brought the sales. So we could look at add to carts and look at our conversion rate and kind of tell like, okay, if it got 30 add to carts, but you know, the ad set is showing zero purchases, we can look at the conversion rate and it's pretty safe to assume that that ad set has, you know, five sales or whatever the percentages are. Now, one thing I do want to say is I, this is like absolute last resort, super unique situations. This would make sense. Most situations, option number two or option number one is going to be a lot more beneficial and reliable than this option. But I figured I would put it on this list anyways, just so that you guys were kind of aware of it. And just in case anybody did encounter these issues with displaying the tracking on Facebook. So that's pretty much it for this video. I know it's a quick one, but I just wanted to show you a few different ways that we've been kind of like working around the iOS 14 tracking issues and the display issues as well. Because not only is stuff not tracking, but stuff's also not displaying in the ads manager properly, which is kind of annoying. And it kind of forces you to use these sort of like tactics and, and percentages and stuff to still be able to scale. But I hope that this video was valuable. If it was, leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to work with me or my team, as always, the link is in the description. Schedule a call or send me a DM on Instagram. My username is at Noah D. Brewer. If you have any feedback or if you also know any ways to get around iOS 14, I would highly appreciate it. And so would the other viewers. If you left it in the comment section, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing and what your thoughts are on these three methods that I put out here today. But as for this video, this is Noah Brewer and I'm out. Peace.